Hi guys, in this video, I am going to show you that how you can solve the issue of credit debit card payment decline. So basically your question is that your card is working fine, but while doing the payment, you are getting this problem. So you are getting the error that your card has been declined. You need to use any alternate payment method. All right. So I will be telling you few reasons that why these, this is happening to you. And then after I will be telling you the solutions that how you can solve this specific issue. So the first thing that you have to keep in mind is that PayPal has a complex screening process. So as you know that there are a lot of stolen cards and uh, there are a lot of scams around the world. So to avoid such type of things, so uh, such type of illegal transactions, PayPal has a strong authentication. I mean the validation through which uh, they are validating specific card details and everything. And then after if they are thinking that their algorithm has the, um, uh, has the strong power that it can validate easily that which type of card is uh, the stolen card or maybe the which transaction is the scam transaction all right the illegal transaction so the first thing is that if you have uh, if you are using such cards then definitely you will no more able to do the transaction using the paypal all right because they are strict so there are a few reasons uh, which are valid reasons which you can try to think about. So the first reason is that the card issuer, uh, for example, you are uh, linked with a bank and the bank has provided you a credit card. So first of all, you should connect to them because in a lot of cases, there are some technical problems in the bank and because of which your, your card is not working. All right. So this is the first reason. So if you are confirmed with your bank that your card is valid and your card is up and running, so then after you should move ahead with the second reason. So, so the second reason is that, for example, you are doing the transaction and uh, that is unusual. For example, on daily basis, you were doing the transaction of $100 or maybe $200 or maybe $500. And at this time, if you are doing the transaction of $1,000, so then after uh, there would be the possibility that people will think about, uh, I mean, your bank would uh, detect this problem that this may be the illegal transaction. All right. So they will block your card or block the transaction. All right. So this can be the reason. And the third reason is that, for example, you did the transactions using your card and your limit has been exceeded. So definitely you will no more able to do the further transactions because your limit, uh, you had a specific limit of the transactions. So you are now not able to do the more transactions from your credit card or maybe debit card. All right. So these are the three reasons which are linked with your bank account actually. So you should confirm from bank if that is working fine. Then after you should move ahead with the solutions that how you will solve these problems. So the first thing uh, is that uh, contact your card issuer directly. I already mentioned you that you should contact to uh, the card issuer who has given you the card. If they are not uh, solving the problem, if they are giving you the confirmation that card is up and running and you have uh, no issue, then you should try again. All right. Because maybe in the second time you will get the problem solved. All right. So you should try again one more time. If still you are facing the issue, then you should, uh, you should have another solution. So the other solution is that you should link your bank account with your PayPal account. So that is a simple process to link your bank account with your PayPal. And then after you can uh, purchase any specific product uh, using your PayPal account. All right. But the transaction would be done from your bank account. So that is more secure and that is more genuine process. And the and another uh, another point is that how you can uh, do the transaction is I mean how you can solve this problem is that you should link the uh, other card. For example, you have a card and you are no more able to do the transaction. You should use another card. I mean, uh, you should issue any other uh, card or maybe you have any relatives card. So you should confirm from that card as well that if that is working fine, then your the system is okay. All right. If that is still not working fine, then you can think about that you should contact to PayPal support team to reset your card because uh, sometimes they by mistake, they uh, blocked your card and they actually blacklist you. So in at that moment, 
uh, you if you are thinking that your card is valid everything is working fine you are not doing any illegal transaction so at that moment you can send them a request you can contact them i have a video a detailed video on how to contact uh, to shopify t uh, sorry paypal team so i have the added the link below in the description so you should use that link and uh, you will able to watch the that specific video in which i have explained the various ways to connect with the people like chat uh, email phone number so i have explained everything so you should contact with them and they will actually help you to reset your card which you are going to use for the transaction so this will help you to solve your issue so in in some cases if you have a website you have integrated the people so in the coding uh, maybe there would be the issue so we can also uh, check the console window developer console and over there we have bunch of errors so from there we can get the uh, clue that in the, this can be the way this can be the problem all right so we have multiple ways to uh, debug that issue but still you have to uh, go through first of all these easier process so that you get the solution if still you are not getting the solution then we can move ahead with the development part i mean the coding part from where we can actually debug the specific issue that what is the core reason uh, of this specific issue all right so one more thing is that you should also try with your private browser uh, i mean you should open the window uh, private window of your uh, chrome browser or maybe any other alternate browser and from there if you can uh, try to do the purchase so maybe that will work fine otherwise you can also clear the cache because it's, uh, because sometime i have also found that uh, because of the cache memory uh, you are facing this issue so you should clear the cache and then try again so in this way you can actually solve these type of issues so in the coming videos i will be uploading lot of uh, uh, more useful content for you so thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to subscribe and like this and uh, see you in the next video